Many thanks speaking to us. I mean, talk to us. You're here to be a part of the manifesto launch. Um, your reasons for, for being here, let's start off with that. Yeah, the reason is that I'm part of the MPP family. In fact, my first rally was in 1969. As a young boy, my father took me to the last rally of Dr. Buzia in our hometown. 1979, I participated in the uh, PFP in terms of the elections. We were the guys who were filing posters around Kumasi and a whole lot of things. And I've been a member of the Kole Klote constituency as a coordinator from 2012 to 2016. And in 2008, together with myself, yeah, yeah. Marco Kukumente, Sukri Safo, uh, okay. Helena Omabo, and the Nana Fidia Furata, we I formed the creative ask for change like, uh, to help, 60, you know, bring Nana, uh, uh, what we call, as far as the ideas 60, of Nana Kufu Ado. So I found it also necessary that this Navara, year, Navara. as a part of the creative art the industry, I have to contribute my quota. Right Fortunately, to uh, the Navara, running mate to Dr. Baumia is my w classmate at Premier College. We sat in the same class. So I find it a duty to also help my brother achieve his aim and the objective that they have. Let's talk creative arts. Um, a lot has been said uh, 2016 till now. What are you looking forward to from this manifesto to address matters within the arts and entertainment industry? Because it continue to make the argument that it needs government support, it needs deliberate planning to be able to do a lot of things. We don't want to speak to promises yet, but what do you expect today? Well, you see, we are in an age of advancement. And I think technology has, has advanced in such a way that the creative people should also have access to technology. And if you listen to the ideas and ideals of Dr. Baumia, he is into the digitalization you know, era. So definitely, once we are in that kind of era, we are going to help you propagate that kind of idea. Already, some of us, like me being a sound engineer, music producer, I use technology a lot in doing my works. So when he comes and is able to fulfill the promise that he's brought into what, what the manifesto that will be launched today, I think we have the capacity and the energy to also absorb that kind of, what we call it, uh, his ideas, for us to also use to impact the generation ahead. I think we are going to a digital revolution, so most of the things will be centered towards that digitalization in terms of our creative space. And the creative space that only involves musicians and uh, what we call actors, fashion designers are there, fine art, sculpture, it's a whole lot. It encompasses a whole lot. So if you bring to bear all these people, be able to inculcate our ideas into them, for them to have a fair idea of the creative arts in terms of the change that they bring in, then definitely uh, our sector will grow very well. Because people have complained that uh, we promise bringing theaters and uh, amphitheaters. So it's a big, it's a big yes. promise. You, you're it's raising that. Promise. It's not, it's not come to fruition. Oh, you, you started some on an, an underway. If, if you go to Accra, uh, where we call uh, the museum, a monument, they've given us a plot of land that they are constructing, and I think Masi too is there. You know, when we talk of theater, people were thinking that it was going to be in the form like the National Theatre, but we have amphitheaters and other things. I think going forward, what we couldn't achieve proud, uh, what we, in 2016 and then 2020, I think definitely to be inculcated into the ideas of now and then uh, will, be, will be espoused as we go along. You expect the creative arts industry to back this manifesto and give it uh, all of its support? In fact, I don't know the content, but based upon the kind of contributions that behind the scenes that we also contributed in putting up this document, definitely it's a very nice document that will help the creative industry. I've been in for the past 40 years, groom a lot of talents. I mean, you can talk with the JQ, the appear to Kufriam Pons, all of them passed through my hands in terms of the music aspect. So with my kind of idea and then having uh, what you call an input into the subcommittee, I wasn't part of the main people who were selected to be part, but the subcommittee that also contributed our uh, quota into this. And I think what we, the idea that we brought, if it is taken into fruition, definitely the creative industry shall survive and then we go on as compared to uh, the previous editions. Thank you. Thank you very much.